I'm here with Eric Johnson, who's running for governor of Georgia on the Republican ticket, and I wanted to ask him about incentives. You had mentioned in a talk at Carter today that the current administration seems to be shifting more toward using incentives. Would you continue this, or what are your thoughts on incentives? Clearly, there's a, um, a business model out there where incentives are good for the taxpayers of Georgia, that we draw in more, more income, more revenue from future property taxes, income taxes, sales taxes. Um, so we should never say we're not going to compete okay. for jobs. What I do like to see is that the state treats job growth internally just like they do ex externally. There should be no difference whether it's an uh, a, a internal existing Georgia company that wants to expand jobs or whether we're recruiting from the outside. It, it should, we should look for it as stewards of tax dollars the same way and treat internal companies the same as external. But, yes, there is a valid... Uh, argument to be made to provide incentives to grow jobs. All right, one question about the commercial real estate industry. You mentioned that you had done some industrial development. When do you think the real estate industry will bottom out? Well, hopefully we're about at the bottom. Uh, residential seems to be uh, at the bottom, and commercial, um, you know, we've got some leases that are going to have to be re renegotiated, uh, paper that's got to be, uh, that's got to come due. So I'm not sure we've seen the bottom of the uh, uh, commercial market yet. Um, but as far as um, the, the warehouse business and the industrial, as soon as the uh, consumer starts spending, the port traffic will increase and the, uh, and, and the trade and the logistics um, and, the, and the jobs related to that will come back pretty fast. All right. Thank you, Senator.